Hi everyone and welcome back to the Learner Radiology Stroke Imaging Series. This is case number two out of four to go along with the Stroke Imaging Series. I'm Brent Weinberg, the founder of LearnerRadiology.com. Thanks for tuning in today. Today we're looking at a case of a 72-year-old with right-sided weakness. Here we have a non-contrast head CT. A little bit grainy, a little bit hard to see. Looks like on the right we have pretty good gray-white differentiation. I'm a little concerned, like particularly given the right-sided weakness, that we have a little bit of an area of hypodensity on the left side here, but it's kind of ill-defined. Like I'm not, I'm not super certain about it. So we're going to go on and get CT perfusion, and here are our perfusion results. We see on the rapid automatic perfusion that it looks like there's an area of, of decreased cerebral blood flow in that area that we were concerned about on the CT in the left inferior frontal lobe and the insula there. That kind of makes sense, like particularly given the, uh, given the symptoms of right-sided weakness that we had. If we look at the Tmax maps, we see a larger area of tissue at risk involving, looks like a lot of the MCA territory, maybe a little bit of sparing of the ACA territory, uh, maybe even parts of the PCA might be, might be involved. Here we see just some zoom-ins of some maps in that area, cerebral blood flow decreased in that area in the left insula and the MCA territory, but a bigger region of Tmax kind of going throughout the whole uh, left cerebral hemisphere here. Here we have some images from an angiogram. Uh, what you're going to see is a frontal angiogram here. You have the internal carotid artery coming up. It's bifurcating into the left ACA and left MCA. And here, out of the distal M1 segment, you have a truncation there. So you have an occlusion of an M1 branch there, right there in the sylvian fissure. These are some post uh, thrombectomy images where you can see they've actually gone out and recanalized that vessel there. So you see uh, that uh, has been treated there, and you've got good blood flow to these downstream branches here. So this is a left MCA occlusion. This is the most commonly intervene upon infarct. In this case, it was kind of in the distal M1 extending into the M2. Uh, this patient got a successful thrombectomy. Here you can see there is an area of flare abnormality in the medial, uh, I mean, along the insula here in the lateral, uh, lateral frontal lobe along the sylvia fissure. Uh, and you see on diffusion, there's an area of uh, completed infarct there. If you come up a little bit higher, there's a smaller infarct more distally, probably a little embolus came downstream. But again, this result is much smaller than the original perfusion deficit. So there was clearly some tissue that was saved here by doing that thrombectomy. Thanks for tuning in to this case. There's going to be two more cases followed by an additional video on complications and mimics. Be sure to tune back in and check them out when they are released. Thank you.